Thought Sauna. This is a podcast where we talk about weird dreams, odd laws, and interesting thoughts. My name is Brett the Guitar Man Hanrahan. I'm gonna use the harmonica. Somehow. I wanna use it, so I did. Uh, I'm Sam Brett Haskins Risley. Wow. Damn. Our own friend stole our names. <laughs> what a top ten anime betrayals. I, I couldn't think of one because I lost the shower thought I, that I accidentally closed the tab I had the shower thought on, and so I was just, in anger, could not think of a name. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And I'm former star of Big Time Rush, Cyan Haskins, uh, here on the episode today, and I guess we're going to start with Brett, since Sam doesn't... Uh, Sam needs a second to pull his shower thought back yeah. up. Sam, do you have, or Brett, do you have a thought for us? No. I have oh. a dream. Oh, okay. You fool. And this one comes to us from Epic Bob on Reddit. Oh. Oh. It's, uh, it's a bit of a long one, so stay with me. Yoda was confronting his final enemy, a lion, with a cowbell around his neck that could also talk. They met in a square cave entrance, standing on the wall of a sideways blocky land in an empty void, with the inside of the cave being infinitely big. Alright. They said... Hello! Lion. Hello. I'm sorry, is this like... I have to stop you real quick. Is this like a Lion and the Witch in the Wardrobe meets Star Wars thing, or... It's gotta be a crossover somehow. Right? So I, I, I Aslan's, I'll do Aslan's voice for his part. This is just a whole uh, conversation between the two in a cave during their final All right, fight. I, I suppose go ahead and continue. All right, thank you. Let me let me get back into character. <laughs> oh yeah, watch oh, scene. Yeah, watch scene. Okay. Hello. The line. Hello. Peanuts! With much expression, the lion says, Can we get an idea of how many peanuts? He narrows his eyes. Yoda says, Seven! Oh, why did I say that? (laughs) He then face palms and shakes his head at the idiocy, for in the end, this all means that the lion won. Damn. Y'all, did you not... Were you not keeping... I was. Yoda and the lion had their final fight yep. in a vast, like a vast cave. And, and Yoda gave away his, like, secret weapon. Yoda gave away the number of peanuts. And the lion knew uh, like, all the info the lion needed to know to win. This is, It's such a big win for the lion. It was such a silly mistake. It was one of those yeah. silly mistakes. Remember in third grade when on a math test you would fuck up because you forgot to carry a one and you would lose the whole point and your teacher would be like, don't fail a test because of a silly mistake. Or because like you forget to put your name at the top and you get like minus five. Ah! Oh my God. Or like <laughs> the, the name is fine. The name is fine. It's when you forget to like put the date or like the period. Oh my God. And she no. throws the test away. It's No, I had this teacher that would get pissed off she would delete points if you didn't do 07, 02, like 2018. That had to be 07, 02, not just 7. Uh, and <laughs> to this day, I still write it like that because of how scared I was that I would fail because I didn't put a zero in front of the day. Fucking, like on Scantrons, where like, if you put like your name, then the period and the date, and for the subject line, you just wrote like English test instead of like <laughs> English two vocabulary oh test God. number six. Like, Ugh. Get out of my face with that. Anyway. Sam, any any grievances against teachers that you got? Oh, he's a sneezy boy today. <laughs> Yikes. How you doing there, Sam? You living? You staying alive? You holding up? I am currently stuffed with a t- tissue right now. <laughs> Great, I can't wait to hear your voice. This is a very allergenic episode. So much. <laughs> this has been a very allergenic day. Yeah. That, I mean, it's been an allergenic week, honestly. So the yeah, lion... For real. The lion won, y'all. I... So I how did he win? Believe... Did he did he just know the info, and because he knew the info, like, 
oh my will know Yo- Yo- Yoda already lost or did Lion like without like saying in the dream is it just implied that Lion used this so, info to create the master sword my, my question is like if Yoda were to do the oh, oh my will know Shinderu would it be like Shinderu oh my will know that's right it, it, it wouldn't be like that he wouldn't be able he would never be able to do it properly he could never that's the one technique he can't master is the omai wa moshin de It would be moshin deru omai wa already dead you are Yeah I, yeah, yeah so it'd yes. be mo, it'd be moshin deru omai wa And then like their their legs would explode instead of their heads Yeah Man the force got weird after after when the new movies came out and like anime yeah. characters started showing up in the in the Star Wars. Yeah, that's when I really fell off of watching Star Wars. That's what that's what happened when the line won. The line's a huge weeb and he's like I want more anime in Star Wars. Yeah, and that's what that's what happened. And that's why Rogue One flopped honestly is because there it was just too influenced by anime. People didn't like the Ichigo cameo. They were like Bleach is over. Why didn't you get someone more relevant? Like there are more recent animes like Devil like Yuri on Ice, you know, uh, yeah, something. Yeah, Devil Man Cry Baby. Yeah, fucking something. Something oh, like man, not a show anime. Don't get me started on that one. God damn! I, I wanted to say that one because there's the most recent, but I didn't want to bring it up because I knew Sam would go on a tangent. <laughs> uh, Chris you and just I had to. It. Chris I, and I watched it, and man, Ugh. I don't I don't know a thing about it. All I know is that it's like a remake, and people are making a making a big old noise about it. Yep. I finished it, and the ending pissed me off. But not because like it was. I mean. Yeah, it was not a great ending, but also just because straight up it was not happy at all. Well, yeah, there are sometimes there are endings that aren't all happy. Yeah. I know, and it, but like this one just straight up sucked. It took like, it made me think there would be like, it gave me like hope. It gave me like, yes, it's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be fine. And it punched me in the nuts and spat on me. Yeah, I said, like a good Fuck sad ending. You. Well, Sam, let me play you a tune on the world's smallest violin. I'm gonna punch you if you play that fucking harmonica. Okay? <laughs> I'm gonna punch you through this mic. <laughs> uh, my favorite thing about Rogue One was when they were flying the the X wings, and then yeah. uh, and then Captain Falcon came in. Yeah, I don't know if I if, if I liked that part. I didn't like that that they were throwing in those characters. Yeah, cause it, it was it was anime. It was the anime version of Captain Falcon. Yeah. So it, you know, it, it like kind of fit in with the theme of all the other anime characters. And then he got out and he was like Falcon Punch, and then he looked at the camera and it was like, wink. Like he knows it's his thing. Yeah. Like he knows it's his okay. But can you honestly say that like Captain Falcon wouldn't fit in in a anime because he absolutely would fit in in an anime. No, he, any Nintendo character would, and here's why. Nintendo. Yes. I and have one it. thing to say to you. What? I want a Mario anime. Not like... I, I like want the a Super legit Mario, Mario Super anime. No. Deek. No. Not no. that's not an anime. I'm talking like anime. Swing anime. your arms from side. To, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, I want an anime opening to that. Swing your arms to the side from side to side. Well, no, then it'd be then it'd be like, uh, freaking just like every other anime, like and it'd be like super cutesy and stuff, and I don't want that. No, I want a super action-packed Super yes. Mario Bros. anime. I want a Full Metal Alchemist style Mario anime. Fuck yes. No, Black Lagoon. Y'all ever watch Black uh, Lagoon? I never watched that one. It's messed up. That's the kind of Mario anime I want. Hell yeah. Where like he he does the fire on the Goombas and it does something. Like they actually like, like they melt and like you see their like flesh and their muscle and bone like yes. burn and sizzle. Like that's what happens. They don't just fall off the stage. Dang fools. Or on the flip side, we just have a super cutesy waifu, like, uh, harem Mario anime. <laughs> where he gets, like, Rosalina and, uh, Daisy and all the... I think that's only in Peach and, like, that's the three girls 
in the Mario verse. I think that's called Sword Art Online. Yeah. Yeah. They already made it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they already did the whole video game hero anime thing. Dang it. Yeah. <sighs> what were we? What was the original? My dream. Uh, yeah. the fucking Yoda <laughs> the peanut revelations. Well, the lion found out how many peanuts Yoda had, and now, now, uh, Star Wars is not happening anymore. It's, it's we're can- back. Yeah, Star Wars is over. We're back to Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. Yeah. We're back. We're getting back to the whole series, the whole like seven book series. People don't know Lion Witch in the Wardrobe is the second book in that series. Yeah. It, it's it's like. Yeah, my mom read like the entire series. Yeah. They just skipped over the first one. Yeah. It's crazy. It's like. Uh, 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 what? That's never happened before, right? No. And they like they did make the sequel, right? To Lion Witch and Wardrobe. I think so. And then it it kind of didn't do anything, so they stopped. Man. I only read Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe. I didn't read any of the other ones. I read the first one, and a little of the third one. But it's like, all right, we get it. Land. Of magic and land. Of magic. Sam, do you ever pull up that that shower thought? I did find it. Thank right. God. Do you wanna do you wanna like revise your name? Like I'll just edit it in at the beginning. No, no, no. Though I was gonna say, Sam Allergy Boy Risley. That see that fits. That's good. That's better than Sam steal your name and your identity, Risley. <laughs> you did it to me last episode. <laughs> well, you don't have proof of that. Yeah, I do. It's recorded. Nope. Oh yeah, show it to me then, <sighs> Sam. I will this Friday when it comes out. <laughs> what is your thought, please? The shower thought today can be answered with a single question. I mean, single word. Okay. Okay. Uh, it would be so weird if babies had baby bones and adult bones. And when their adult bones grew in, their baby bones would be forced out through their skin. And before you say anything, teeth. Yes. All right. It's just teeth. It's teeth. I, I guess. It's teeth. But imagine that. All over your body, Sam. It just... Does it fall out or does it, like, food boy just kind of... No, I think it falls out and it's just pain... It's like, it's like you know, your teeth fall out. Like, oh, my... My ulna's wiggling. And then, like, okay. eventually the skin right here on your arm breaks. On, like, your wrist or whatever. And then you have to, like... The bone pulls out and peop- your parents, like, tie a string around it and, like, close the door uh, and your ulna gets torn out of your arm. Uh, I should have picked, picked a different thought. This is the worst. Thanks. Or like your femur or something like. Oh. I feel my femur wiggling and it's like oh, that's the last one, and when you're like when you start to get in your twenties like your wisdom bones. Oh. No. So no. It starts happening th- again and you have to go get surgical like surgery to get them out, and it I sucks. Think my, my thing is like. The wor- I think the worst bones would be your skull. Oh God! And your yeah, hip. I was about to say. That. Well, the thing is, you have hip. many. You're up in your head. You have like a many, many different bones. Do all the bones in your head, like your cheekbone, your jaw, your like, do they all like your forehead your and then like your nose cartilage. bridge? It's, your nose is just cartilage. It doesn't count. I'm talking like your nose skull. Falls? Even if it was just like not that, your skull, skull would be awful. What I was saying was, do your face bones fall out individually, or do your that whole skull bad. come out at? once your whole skull and it all comes out through your mouth yeah they're all technically connected oh you also have baby nails which you have to tear off that just happens naturally yeah that just happens naturally that already happens you know they just all right one more no baby nails and you have to tear one more one more and then you're adult yep Yep. your your spine would you just like hunch over and fire the vertebrae out of your back (laughs) Like a porcupine? Like yeah, if you ever <laughs> yes, maybe because use it porcupines as a can, porcupines can launch their spines. That's how it works. God, you know what? I thought the whole like my teeth falling out and like I have to deal with that and I have to go get like wisdom teeth surgery soon. Oh. I thought that all sucked. Man, I couldn't imagine if like I had to worry about like my phalanges. 
Like, yeah. oh god, you're and like my toe- rib cage. Your, your toe bones coming out. Your rib cage coming out. And you know when you when you like lose a tooth, it doesn't come back immediately. No, so you like just don't have a bone there for a while. Yeah. Then and, it's like, just like the fucking Harry Potter scene where he gives him the like. I've been thinking about that. It turns the out to be the time. no bone juice wait, and it just flops around. Wait, wait. So have you ever seen like, of like what like, what it looks like. Like, you ever see, like, a photo of, like, the baby teeth and then all the adult teeth, like, just fucking a mess in your head? No. Because they're in there. No. And they, like, they no. push... No! Do you think that we're just fucking mutants as babies because we also have the adult bones <laughs> waiting? Oh, no! <laughs> we're, like, eight times bulgier than normal. <laughs> oh, God! It's like that no. thing from Akira. No. Oh god. Like what he just trains you know what, like that whole scene. You know what the worst part about that is? What? As a child, I had to have like eight teeth removed because I had extra teeth. Jesus Christ. You had like a third set of teeth? I had like a bunch of extra teeth that like that they just weren't gonna come out, so they would just they had to like remove them. Did you keep them? Are they you, gave me a little box of them. You can use them. You could you could bite on things with t- 20% more power than most other humans. <laughs> you can have the jaw of, like, a crocodile. Yeah. Or, like, a shark. You can just, like, See, put but the thing is, I teeth. already have problems with my, like, fucking canines biting all the way through my lips. If I had more teeth, I wouldn't... I'd, it'd just be a mess. You'd be a monster. Yeah. I would be a monster. Like, I'm not joking. I have to be careful when I eat because my canines will fucking rip through my lips. Jesus Christ, dude. Like, you... if you ever see me wince in pain while I'm eating, it's likely because I punctured my lip. Well, you just eat like an animal anyway. So that makes sense. What was your thought again? The bones. The bones. Right. <laughs> the bones. Is there, there was a, way a time could... where I got, like, hit in the head and my tooth went all the way through my lip. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. When did that happen? That was a couple of years ago. I was at a family uh, family reunion. Oh. Kid came flying off the lake house merry-go-round and hit me square in the mouth. That merry-go-round, dude. Some kids would have extra bones. Just like Sam had extra teeth. Oh, no! Even more lumpy. <laughs> an extra forehead. I have an adult forehead behind my child forehead. And an extra set. <laughs> I have an extra set of foreheads. I have three foreheads. <laughs> okay, real quick, I just remembered, have you guys seen the new trailer for the movie Christopher Robin? I have, yes. No. Is it just me, or does Pooh Bear look like he's had a couple years on meth? Pooh Bear looks a little rough. I won't lie. He looks a little rocky in the trailer. But I think that's the point. Like, I think it's like... Pooh Bear has, like, been, like, l- abandoned or something. Because, like, the kid grew up, right? And the kid, like, yeah. lived his life and, like, has a job and is married. So do you think Pooh Bear is, like, just, like, in an attic? Are they just doing Toy Story 3 again? No, yeah, it's, like, basically. gritty reboot of, like, Yeah, Winnie it's the a Pooh. gritty reboot of Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, it's, like, a, like a, a Christopher Robin's, like, an adult and, like, has, like, a fucking, like, terrible business job. And, like, wears suits and shit. And he, like, sits on a bench, and Pooh Bear comes up, and he's just like, Oh, oh, oh brother. And, like, he turns around, and he's like, Pooh, and he's like, It's been a while. Yeah, yeah, that. Because I know they they had that movie where they, like, the conception of Pooh Bear, right? Right? Like, yeah. It was like, it was like a, a documentary... Esque. It was an educational movie where they were like, "Yeah, and this is how the creator of Pooh Bear like his life and how he made Pooh Bear." Yeah, I don't think this is what that movie is. I think this is this movie's like Christopher Robin growing up and Pooh Bear comes back into his life. Gritty reboot of Winnie the Pooh. Live action reboot of the Winnie the Pooh movie. I, I, I guess, man, I the people in Hollywood they're running out of ideas. I guess. <sighs> I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard people. Has it come out? No, it's just the trailer. I've heard mixed reviews of people. It's like con, like idea of the trailer and like what they think the movie's gonna be. And a lot of people are like excited for it, and then a lot of people are like 
this is the worst thing ever. Yeah, Don't a lot of people do are this. like a lot of people are like, what happened to Pooh Bear? A lot of people are like, don't do this. We didn't need this. And a lot of people are like, oh, I really needed this. So I don't know. We'll see how it, it yeah. progresses throughout this next year. Well, here's the thing, y'all. Like, Paddington already has like 100% of Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Paddington 2. Do you think they're trying to, if they're trying to ride the coattails of Paddington, they're a little late. Ah, ah, I see. I see, I see. They are, well, I mean, it came out like a month ago, right? Yeah. So they're, they're, they're kind of getting on time. But Pooh Bear was like the original cuddly bear. It's true. It's going to bring back a lot of adults. It's going to be like Paddington versus Pooh Bear, like the fans. <laughs> No, Paddington no, there's going to be a movie, Death and it's going to be Paddington, it's going to be like Jason versus fucking Freddy. Yeah. Freddy yeah. versus Jason. Alien versus Predator. Yeah, and then, like, it's going to start this whole thing, and then there's going to be, like, Mecha Pooh Bear versus <laughs> Robo Paddington. Like, Mutant Paddington versus Alien Pooh Bear. Yeah. Giga Pooh Bear. Robo per- Pooh Bear versus Mecha Pooh Bear versus Sharknado and Paddington. Oh, wow. Like, it's going to start getting, like, weird. It's going to be, oh, like, yeah. fucking Godzilla versus Mecha Godzilla versus the entire space, like, cadet Versus team. Giga Gantra or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Versus the Power Rangers. And then there's, like, the movie where, like, all seven of them fight. <laughs> and then all of them team up against the greater evil, the sun. So I have a law Yeah. to do discuss. You? I sure do. do. You really? Yeah. I don't uh, know if you're, I don't know. A law, a law, laws are I don't something. Know if we should talk about that in this uh, in this yeah. podcast. I mean, yeah, laws are something that I rarely do. I never really visit laws. I, I'm never, I'm never good at doing those. Um, so this one should be a treat. I'm gonna read the law summary as it was displayed to me on the website where I found it, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna give the full text of the law, uh, which will give a, a much more insight. And we'll uh, hopefully explain numerous questions. Okay. So here's the law summary. Bicycles must be operated at a reasonable speed. Here's the full text of the law. No person shall operate a bicycle at a greater speed than is reasonable. That's that's the full text? Well, there's and prudent under the conditions then existing. But the full text is... The, the bike summary is what you write in your journal, and then the full text of the law is what you write in the essay to get full credit. <laughs> it's just, like, the it's the same sentence, but, like, there's more, like, words in it yeah. to make it sound what smarter. Is... Anyway, yeah, you can't... You, it, a bike needs to be at a reasonable speed. A reasonable speed is in quotations, by the way. What is a reasonable speed? Is this determined by circumstance? I don't know. Well, it doesn't explain. If you're driving on the highway, you got to go 60. Like, that's a reasonable speed for cars. Yeah. So it would be reasonable for a bike to go the same speed. And if you're going slower than that, sorry. Gonna pull you over. Nothing we can do about it. Well, no. Oh? Because if you're on the highway and you're going 10, that's not illegal because no person shall operate a bicycle at a speed greater than is reasonable, is the law. Unfortunately, you're not going to find a fucking bike on the goddamn highway. If I went on the highway and I was going like two miles an hour, that's fine. But if I was going like 120, I'm under arrest for speeding. As if they could catch you. (laughs) If you can get a bike to 120 miles per hour, I will be thoroughly impressed. And I want us all to, I want us all to like say out in the open, we are all thinking of just a manual bicycle. Yeah. None of us are thinking of a motorbike. No. All right. And that's all I want us to think throughout this whole thing. So, like, if you're in a neighborhood and you're going, like, 30 miles on a bike, is that greater than a reasonable speed for a neighborhood? Okay, here's my thing. How the hell did you get your bike to 30 miles an hour? They're very fast, Sam. They work hard every day and they work at Jimmy John's and they deliver sandwiches. If you are just a casual biker, like, here, let me, I'm going to Google right now, world's fastest bicycle i guess i should also mention that this is a texan law oh yeah i forgot to bring that part up i found this under the texas category this is a texan law Uh oh i've been biking at unreasonable speeds my whole life (laughs) oh Oh, it's them 
Ah, jeez. <laughs> oh, what's... Oh, no. Oh, no. The alarm. The I ambulance he- is coming. I hear the police sirens. <laughs> They're coming. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what... I mean... You know, when I'm when I'm just going down, just going to Goodwill just for a good time. Yeah. Uh, and I hung my bicycle horn at people because, you know, they won't get okay, out of the I way. Just goog- like, I just Googled it. The world's fastest bicycle travels 133.78 kilometers, mi- kilometers per hour. That is the equivalent of 83 miles per hour. What? Like just with leg power or? I don't know. There's no way that that can just be with leg power, right? Is it on a level surface, or is it, like, going downhill? Well, it's... You just looked up fastest bike, right? Not, like, fastest biker. Bicycle. I looked up, a, I looked up fastest bicycle. Yeah, so... If you were going, like, on a straight downhill... Okay, it's technically motorized. All right, well, that's not what we're talking about, is it, Sam? Yeah, I just found the YouTube video. We're talking... World's fastest... World's fastest bicycle rider... No. Does this law also apply to raise your scooters? You know it does. Hold up, what? If I'm razor scooting on the highway at 200 miles an hour. <laughs> Again, they can't catch you. But will I get, like, in the mail? Will I get, like, a, like, come to jail, Hold please? Hold on. How the, what the fuck? Pump the fucking brakes. Okay, world's fastest bicycle rider. John Howard, Olympic cyclist and Ironman triathlon winner, reset the re- the record to 244 kilometers per hour, 152 miles per hour. Uh, and then Fred Rompelberg from Maastricht, <laughs> Netherlands. I'm sorry, who? From the cartoon, <laughs> fairly odd. <laughs> Fred Rompelberg uh, is the current holder of the motor pace. Okay. But still... Apparently, the dude for the world's fastest bicycle made it go 152 miles per hour. How? I don't How? know. What? Did they just, like, get a rope and, like, get on a jet plane? and like, all right, take off. Here we go. <laughs> they sound like that, too. Uh, is that is it an unreasonable speed if you're, like, if you got a rope on a jet plane and you're in the air and you're going the same speed as the jet plane? Is that unreasonable? I feel like that's necessary. Because you're tight. What is the average speed of a bicycle? Yeah. The average bicycle travels ninety not or er, <laughs> travels nine point six miles per hour on a re- on a racing bicycle. A reasonably fit rider can ride at uh, twenty five miles per hour on a flat surface. Okay. So again, my question still stands: of how the fuck did you get to thirty miles per hour? Because I'm very good at bicycling, Sam. Yeah, Sam. They don't call me Cyan Bicycle Haskins for nothing. I bicycle so much that I get oins points for it. Amazing. Amazing. Three oins points for Cyan. Woo! I'm caught up to Sam. <laughs> on the oins Wait, points what? board. Y'all remember oins points? The thing we made in the second episode when Sam went on an oats kick? We <laughs> right, still have but it. How did, right, but how, how did you catch up to me? Cause you have just so fast on you, the bicycle. Yeah, you had three points, and Brett just awarded me three. So now we both no, have three points. No, you can only award one at a time. <laughs> oh, I don't remember making that rule, Sam. No, you can't just award multiple oints points. <laughs> All right, fine. Sam gets one oint point. I got an oint. Finally did it. Yay. We Bre- never thought Brett it Brett is happen. the only one not on the board put me, yet. Put me on the oint point board, Brett. What are you doing? I can't reach it. Get up. Are we, really? You're going to make me... Go, go put me on the oints points board. All right. Cool. We... <laughs> the headphones are out. I can't believe yeah. it. Yeah. Ooh, it's all big and shit. Fuck yeah. Oh. Well. That's still fine. Uh, no. What? You can't give yourself ten oints points. I, I went, well... You can't award... Points Brett, like that. Don't you fucking I do did. it. I have I had the marker and I put ten points on it. Sam, do you veto the points that Sam I veto that the Brett points. got? 
Okay, I also do. I, that's three. That's two thirds right. vote. We'll have to take it back to the board of representatives to see if it's a fair Brett call. Brett automatically receives negative three oint points. Oh Impossible. shit! Impossible. I I accept. <laughs> I accept to that. I, I veto. All right, the law. It's back to ten. <laughs> I veto the veto. We're back to zero, and we're back to normal. Hi, welcome to Thoughts on. This is our first episode. <laughs> Hi, yeah. We're starting this over. Is, this is the first episode of Sot Fauna. Yeah, 40. this is where we talk about deer. Sot Fauna. Uh, we seek them. <laughs> where are they? I get it. Yeah, you get it? Uh, I'm Brett Saxman Handran. <laughs> I'm Sam. Deer Man Risley. I'm Cyan Oint Point Haskins. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. I don't know why you would, but yeah. that's where we are if you ever care to listen. Also, keep in mind we- that Thoughts Anna is a Team 10 production, so go be sure to check out Team 10's page and Jake Paul. Yeah. Uh, no. He's the no, one who gives us our paycheck. No, associated with that no. jackass. Sam, you can't, you're going to get us fired, Sam. He's giving us our paychecks. No. We're sponsored by no. him now. No. No, 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 no. I, I refuse. Also, this, this, real quick. This, this fucking bit is canceled. Sam. That's not, no. Sam, real quick. The, what? I hope he, we made this bit on the last episode and you didn't comment on it so I'm finding it because really funny that because I was quietly now... bite I was quietly biting my rage hoping you would never <laughs> mention it again and you fucking did it. Well, because we're 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 a team 10 production now. They bought us. They bought our company. But there's nothing no. we can do about it. They give us our they give us our paychecks. Logan Paul is looking outside my door. The fact that we're talking about this on the air is dangerous so we might lose our jobs. He just he just got That's fine. Out. If we ha- if we're employed by them I I want to be fired. No, wait, wait, wait. He has his thumb out. Oh, wait, it's not in the, like, thumbs up position. Oh, he's going across his neck. Oh, he just slid his thumb across his own neck. And he's dead. That's it. He's just straight up dead. Hi, welcome to Thought Sano. We are looking for a third co-host, and Sam, uh, was removed from the show for reasons we can't say, uh, or else we'll get fired, too. They killed me. Yeah. Everyone welcome Logan Paul. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Brett Sign and Logan Paul. No. No. All right, let's let's exit. Let's exit this sauna with our we do. with our theme song. We do. It's specific. <laughs> thought, wait, thought sauna where we do a dream, a law, and then Logan Paul's segment is always talking about his hair. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about it, but we we bring it up every episode. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for joining me and my soggy boys in the thought sauna. Please keep in mind that next time you need to bring a towel and that Logan Paul is balding and we'll see you next Uh. week. We'll be posting a link to our Discord server in the link below. England is my city. uh, Go ahead and turn off the... Yeah, yeah, we're good now. Yeah.